It is the side of life that allows the brain to relax, to explore. But I'd like you to really practice with different patterns and different colors. Because when you are allowed freedom, you can create. And when you encourage people to partake, they are allowed to find themselves. These are some really beautiful pieces. Just from looking down, like all of them are frameable. Welcome to the program known as Free Arts, where they go to shelters. Some of the families homeless, taken in with children. And with that, they have to offer opportunities to get better. If you're having difficulty affording housing, you know, crafts and art supplies is not something you're gonna spend money on. So to be able to give our kids the opportunity to kind of explore their interests and have a little fun, um, and, and kind of take away from the stressful environment that they're in. That's what the idea is. Take people who have been through the stress of life, much without a choice, and give it some new life. And so here, again, it's right off the bat, everyone is having fun, and we're sort of working on our projects, both separately and together. Uh, there's a lot of conversation and hashing out what we're creating and what we're working on. Be selfless. Yes. <laughs> I get a good feeling because I got to express myself through art. It's going to go into the, it's not going to go everywhere, but you see all the place where it's still brown, all the cracks in there. At the heart of it is a teacher, Keegan Zavi. She is tailor-made for this mission because she lives with empathy for people. And she believes these lives need to be encouraged. That's why she teaches. To infuse hope through an avenue that allows them to move forward. I understand that the, the youth and their families who are staying here, this is a temporary time for them. And so the thing that I'd like to do is just center ourselves about where we find ourselves now, today in the present. Um, what we do with the magic that we find in this moment, the magic that we create together. So we start off with a grounding, centering type of exercise just to unite and align everyone's energy around the table. Oh my God, those are beautiful. Wow, Keegan is absolutely amazing. Um, she's direct and focused, but she really captures the attention of all of our kids. That's the idea. Encourage a group that maybe has been short on confidence building. It's not that you are creating future artists, it's that you are introducing young people to something they did not know existed. Sometimes when I am a little stressed or a little bored, sometimes I would just grab a pen and a pen or a pencil and a notebook and just draw. It kind of calms me down. That's actually kind of one of my hobbies besides singing and dancing. My hobbies is to draw and the color. I love drawing and coloring. Which is exactly what Keegan wants to come out of this. That the students take another step in understanding themselves. I hope that they feel and I feel like I'm experiencing that there's a space for them to say what they want to say. It's not going to be graded. There's no wrong answers. Um, so I hope when they're done with, with the workshops that they feel like they've created something that maybe will inspire them in some way, shape, or form in the future. That's why you do it. Without judgment, without reservation, with positivity they can achieve because there are no rules, simply opportunities to create to feel better about yourself because of it. Working with Free Arts Minnesota allows me the opportunity to work with youth where I'm free as an artist to just create and be a part of the process with the youth as we're working together as opposed that they're here because they need grades or they're here because they're gonna be judged and therefore it creates a different dynamic. I don't get to experience this in many, if any, other places in my life right now where I just get to come and create just for the, the, the love of the journey of creation. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.